One of my favorite animals to draw is a rhinoceros. I don't know why, it just is. So we're going to draw the rhinoceros head. To start, make a rectangle. And inside of that rectangle, make another square rectangle shape. Now on that smaller rectangle, I'm going to make a triangle. This will become the horn. And then at the top of that square, I'm going to make another triangular shape kind of connecting to that triangle. It's a second horn. I'm going to make a rectangle coming out of the corner of the head, both corners of the head. And now I'm ready to go in and add some details. So with my darker color, I'm going to make the shape of the rhinoceros head. So at the top, I'm going to curve it and do the same to the side, kind of making it wavy or bumpy because a rhinoceros doesn't have like smooth perfect skin it's more bumpy and rough so i'm going to bring this around to the bottom and then for the snout or the middle of the dinosaur face i'm going to round that off same way and then for the horn i'm pretty much going to go over that triangle but curve it a little bit round the bottom and then make a little outline around the bottom to make it look like the part that connects to the head. And then for the second horn, I'm just going to curve that other triangle and connect it. Now for the ears, I'm going to make some floppy ears, so I'm going to go over that square shape. But right here, I'm going to go back up and bring it in and make that other line left over connect to the body so it may add some depth to the ear. So you can see the outside of the ear and a little bit of the inside of the ear. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. There's that line. Now I'm going to add some eyes. So a curved line with another curved line. I'm going to make the pupil. Same thing on this side, make some lines for brow, and again make these lines kind of rough or bumpy, make a mouth, and this is more of a cartoony rhinoceros, so it's not super realistic. Give it a little tuft of hair, make some M shapes that are connected, and if I want to I could add a hint of the body, as if we're seeing it head on, so the body would be kind of a line like this, and a line like this, and then it would continue down if I were to do the rest of the body. But that's basically it, the head of a rhinoceros.